The United States of America is in the midst of a growing water crisis. Many factors have contributed to this problem, including population growth, increasing costs of water treatment, pollution, and drought. We have a record dry weather that is gripping areas from the east coast all the way to the west coast. There is extreme drought in parts of California, Arizona, eastern Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee, and Georgia. Water development in California has come at a great cost, not just a financial cost, but uh, environmental cost. Cities. But despite misleading appearances, the city is facing a water shortage. Well, a water war is brewing between all of us here in central Florida and our neighbors to the north. As our water supply continues to dwindle under pressure from growth, people are looking toward the St. John's River as a possible solution. 75% of our water goes down our drains in our bathrooms in our homes. One of the most significant ways the average American can conserve water is to reduce unnecessary water usage in the bathroom. Low flow shower heads and turning off the faucet while brushing our teeth are common sense steps everyone can take. A problem that requires more attention, however, is the amount of water used to flush our toilets. Toilets manufactured prior to 1994 used an average of 5 to 7 gallons of water per flush. After 1994, laws required that all new toilets manufactured or sold be low volume models using 1.6 to 2.2 gallons per flush. While these laws seem to be a step in the right direction, millions of high volume toilets are still in use across the United States. and. Recent studies by the Metropolitan Water District of Southern California and the City of Phoenix indicate that as many as one half of the low volume toilets in use today are actually wasting water using two to four times the amount of water they were designed to use. A 2002 research study conducted by the City of Phoenix found that 43 percent of the low volume toilets they studied had at least one water wasting problem including poor flushing performance and the need to flush the toilet more than once to clear all solids and tissue from the toilet bowl. The study also found that some homeowners resorted to intentionally modifying their low volume toilet to achieve a higher flush volume and better flush performance. The second major problem with tank style toilets including low volume models occurs when the flapper valve needs to be replaced generally every four to five years. The Metropolitan Water District of Southern California found that consumers usually purchase replacement flappers from hardware and home improvement stores and that the exact replacement parts are generally not available from these retailers. For that reason, consumers tend to purchase generic flappers that are physically compatible with their toilet but do not maintain the low flush volume. The Metropolitan Water District found that low volume toilets designed to use 1.6 gallons of water per flush use 2.37 to 6.42 gallons of water per flush when fitted with a generic off the shelf flapper. Usually the consumer is not even aware that they are using more water. One proven solution to poor flushing performance while still conserving water is the dual flush toilet. Dual flush toilets allow the user to choose a short ultra low volume flush for urine and a small amount of tissue or a longer higher volume flush. Although dual flush toilets have been widely used for years in Australia, Asia and Europe, they have yet to penetrate the American market due in large part to their high cost and the differences in aesthetic design features when compared to American toilets. Now there is a way to enjoy the benefits of dual flush technology with any tank style toilet. The Snap and Save Dual Flush Conversion Kit for Tank Style Toilets. The Snap and Save is a patent pending toilet flapper that has been designed with a special magnetic air release port that can be selectively activated by the user to close the flapper prematurely resulting in a short flush. To activate the short flush feature the user simply pushes on the flush handle through a secondary resistance. This snaps the magnetic port open releasing the air in the flapper which renders it non-buoyant causing it to close more quickly. To 
to activate a long flush, the user simply presses on the handle without pressing through the second resistance. The Snap and Save can be easily installed without tools in less than five minutes. Well, we're about to change the uh, flapper out on the stool with the uh, uh, Snap and Save. And now, of course, there's your magnetic port and how it operates. And we're going to demonstrate it and how quickly you can change one out. Come right on over here. is. You can adjust the float level up and down the chain to set whatever distance you want. That's it. Here the snap and save is being demonstrated on an older higher volume toilet. The flush handle is pushed through the second resistance. The toilet flushes completely and the total water usage was about one gallon. Here the full flush feature of the snap and save is being demonstrated on an older higher volume toilet. As you can see, the toilet flushes completely and about 2.25 gallons of water was used. Snap and Save also works on the lower volume new style toilets. Here the short flush feature is being demonstrated The toilet flushes completely and uses about 0.8 gallon of water per flush. Here we're demonstrating the full flush on a newer low volume toilet. The full flush requires approximately 2 to 2.25 gallons.